Welcome to the Algonauts Project 2025 challenge called How the Human Brain Makes Sense of Multimodal Movies. This year, we invite you to build computational models of brain responses to multimodal stimuli using CNeuromod, the largest data set of brain responses to multimodal movies. During the challenge, you will have the chance to cooperate and compete with other scientists in building these models. And if your model is among the top three best performing ones, you will win monetary prizes and will also be invited to present your winning model at the Cognitive Computational Neuroscience Conference in Amsterdam in August 2025. My name is Ali Gifford, one of the organizers, and in this video I will introduce you to the 2025 challenge. Let's start with what the Algonas project is. There is a growing symbiosis between biological and artificial intelligence sciences. Neural principles inspire new intelligent machines, which are in turn used to model and advance our understanding of the brain. Along these lines, the Algonas project is a platform that aims at promoting further exchange of ideas and collaboration between biological and artificial intelligence researchers to accelerate scientific advances in both fields. This year, the Algonas project focuses on multimodal processing, an unresolved problem in both biological and artificial intelligence research. Specifically, we ask you to build computational models of how multimodal movies, including visual, audio, and language input, are processed in a human brain. And we believe that an effective way to promote the development of these models is through a challenge. Challenges have been a popular and productive framework in both neuroscience and AI, as they provide quantitative and objective scores of model development, while at the same time offering the opportunity for scientists of different disciplines to balance cooperation and competition in model building. Therefore, in this year's edition of the Algonas Project Challenge, we ask you to build encoding models of multimodal brain processing, where encoding models are predictive algorithms that take stimuli as input, such as multimodal movies, and output the corresponding brain responses. Your encoding models should satisfy three criteria. First, they should predict brain responses to multimodal movie stimuli. Second, they should be as accurate as possible in making these predictions. And third, they should be robust and well generalized, generalized outside of their train distribution. In order to promote these three criteria, we base the challenge on data from CNeuromod. CNeuromod is the largest data set of human neural responses to naturalistic multimodal stimulation. During the challenge, you will use a subset of CNeuromod consisting of 80 hours of multimodal movies, including visual frames, audio samples, and language transcripts, and the corresponding neural activations, whole brain fMRI responses for four subjects divided into 1,000 functionally defined parcels. During the challenge, you are invited to use this data to build encoding models that predict fMRI responses to multimodal movie stimuli. The challenge consists of two phases plus a post-challenge phase. The challenge training data is shared across all three phases and consists of 55 hours of movie stimuli and corresponding fMRI responses for each of the four challenge subjects, for all episodes of season one to six of the sitcom Friends, and 10 hours of movie stimuli and corresponding fMRI responses for movie 10, a collection of four movies including The Born Supremacy, Hidden Figures, a live documentary, and The Wolf of Wall Street. You can use these data to train your encoding models. The first challenge phase is the model building phase, which will run for six months from January 6 until July 6. During this phase, you can train your encoding models using the challenge training data and test them in distribution on season seven of Friends, for which the corresponding fMRI responses are withheld. The second challenge phase is the model selection phase, which will run for one week from July 6 until July 13. During, the phase, during this phase, the winning models will be selected only based on the accuracy of their predicted fMRI responses for the out-of-distribution movie stimuli. For this, we will provide two hours of out-of-distribution movie stimuli and withhold the corresponding fMRI responses. 
finally, once the challenge is over, we will open an indefinite post-challenge phase, which will serve as a public benchmark. To quantify the accuracy of your encoding model, you will submit its predicted fMRI responses to the test movie stimuli to CodaBench. After each submission, the scoring program will compare your predicted fMRI responses for each parcel and subject with the withheld fMRI responses using a Pearson's correlation. To compute the challenge evaluation metric, these correlation scores are averaged, first across parcels, then across subjects, resulting in a single correlation score that quantifies the performance of your model. And the leaderboard will be automatically updated with the score after each submission. On the leaderboard, you will also find the baseline model score. For example, here you can see the performance of the baseline model for the model building phase. We also provide an interactive development kit tutorial on Google Colab, which allows you to load, visualize, and interpret the challenge data. Use these data to train and evaluate encoding models of the brain and prepare the model predictions in the right format for submission to Colab. The challenge comes with minimal rules. First, we forbid training models on any neural response for the test movie stimuli. Second, since we want to promote more robust models of the brain, the winning models will be selected only based on their brain response prediction accuracy for the out of distribution movie stimuli during the model selection phase. Third, you can make an unlimited number of submissions during the model building phase, but to limit overfitting to the out of distribution test set, you can only make a maximum of 10 submissions during the model selection phase. And fourth, to promote open science and allow the entire community to benefit from the challenge outcome, if you wish to be considered for the winner's selection, you need to submit a short report to a preprint server describing your encoding algorithm. Furthermore, the top three performing teams are required to make their code openly available. The top three performing teams will be invited to present their encoding models during a talk at the Cognitive Computational Neuroscience Conference held in Amsterdam in August 2025. These teams will also receive monetary prizes. The third place team will receive a prize of 3,000 euros. The second place team will receive a prize of 5,000 euros. And the first place team will receive a prize of 7,500 euros and a reimbursement of up to 1,500 euros for travel expenses to present at CCN 2025. We're looking forward to your participation in this year's challenge. And the best way to get started is from the Algonauts project website, where you will find all information and resources related to the challenge. To conclude, I would like to thank the challenge organizers and sponsors, and I wish you good luck and fun with the challenge.